day one, day one. Hold on a minute. Okay, so seven, eight, nine. This would be day nine of me trying to make towel rub dreads. Like I said, I've been using this microfiber towel and I've just been rubbing my hair like this. I'm supposed to be doing this for 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night. That's a lot, that's a lot of rubbing. I'm gonna try and just do like five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night from now on. But uh, it's hard to really keep up. And I'm not even sure if this is a good technique. Like I heard that doing this is not really gonna make me dreads, but I've seen people do it and they make sick dreads from it. But you can kind of see like how my hair is. Locks form best with uh, clean hair. It's a myth to think that dirty dreads lock better. So uh, I've been washing my hair just with water though. I haven't been putting any different type of shampoo that have residue or perfume in it just until I find out a recipe to make my own uh, shampoo. So I mean, I'm thinking this technique will eventually work. It's only been nine days, like I said, so there's not gonna be too much of a notice just yet, but like, you know, maybe after a month, we'll start to see some progress. And like I said, it's just, it's just clockwise rubbing. That's it. And you can kind of see like, how it turns out after and how it could form into locks. I think that by doing this method, it's gonna create um, thinner locks. It's not gonna make thick ones, but it does bring my curls out. The reason why I like this technique is that because it brings my curls. I've always used to, if I, if I didn't have my hair braided or in dreadlocks, it would be in an afro, meaning I would afro pick, you know, use one of these. I'd always use one of these every day and pick out my hair, but this is not gonna happen anymore. Now I'm going to grow my hair out, but let it kind of like knot up on its own. Or not on its own by me doing this. Um, we'll see how they start to grow out. Once I get some length, who knows, I might start twisting. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I know for a fact that I'm definitely not going to interlock again. So if anything, it's going to be twists. But I would just like to have it free forming on its own. And I think I've been doing this like sporadically couple minutes every, throughout the day so I don't know if I'm doing it enough or too much I think most free formers will say just to leave your hair the part I don't get is there's a youtuber by the name of uh, Jawan something all I know is his rapper name is SB Grimm and if you look up SB Grimm towel rub dreads you'll see his and his look like sick I'm like what they look like twists, which was, I don't get, like, it looks like he twists his hair, but it's towel rub, and it's like, how did it form like that? So, like, ideally, I would like my locks to kind of turn out like that through towel rubbing, but I highly doubt it, because our hairstyle, our hair texture is way different. But yeah, you can check out his video. I'll put a link in the description. I'm just going to do this for two more minutes, and then that's my five minutes for the day. And I'm going to go wash my hair, actually right after this. I should probably wash it before I've done this, but um, these microfiber towels are actually really great for drying your hair as well. They're very absorbent. When I do that giveaway, you guys can have a chance to win a microfiber towel to use to either make your dreads or dry your dreads, or just clean up messes around the house, whatever you really want to use it for, it doesn't matter. Hopefully you guys are on your journeys and hopefully they're coming along really well. Make sure you guys stay subscribed. I think I'm just about done rubbing my hair for this morning. So there was, there was my five minutes. And I realized it's a lot easier for me to rub my hair and talk to you guys. It gives me a bit more motivation than me just rub my hair by myself looking at the wall. And yeah, that's how my hair looks after I'm done rubbing it. And it's funny because like if I'm trying to like make my hair look appropriate, instead of like using a, a pick and combing it, I'll just rub it around in spots that aren't really volumey, and then we'll just go out. Throw a hat on, whatever. But yeah, that's, you can kind of see how my locks might start to form through doing this technique, right? Like they're on the side here too. Like it's, in, it's an interesting technique. But only time will tell. Until next time, it's your boy, Tao Dread Not Lie. See you next time. You go nuts. Hey!